Hello, friends, patrons, and fans of the Maryland Ensemble Theater. My name is Stephen Craig, and I'm going to help you with this tech guide on how you can enjoy something brilliant to watch party. First, you can see I have what looks to be a side-by-side -side of a share screen and a Zoom call. I'll show you right here where you can have that same view. Any up arrow, so such as next to this audio settings, you can click audio settings and all of the general settings pop up. Now in audio, obviously you're gonna to wanna to select a speaker that you can hear. But if you go to share screen, you wanna click and enable side-by-side -side mode. Then you should be able to see a little bar that you can drag from left to right. During the feature film, we encourage you to chat with each other. In chat, you can see where your chat could potentially only make it to the panelists. Toggle the down arrow and select all panelists and attendees. That way, when you say that part was funny, everyone can read it, not just those that are on our side of the webinar meeting. So my general recommendation is to slide this bar over to where you can conveniently fit the chat. Don't worry about blocking my face because I will turn my video off during the actual run of the feature film, Something Brilliant 2. Hey, this is great advice. Thanks, Steven. You can also use the Q&A feature. In the Q&A feature, we only want you to type questions that you would ask in the talkback or technical help questions. So if you're saying, I can't hear you, I could reply to you and help you with your audio or potentially fix mine. Another example of a question could be, what happened to that one character? And this will actually save for the talkback at the end of the show. Thanks for checking out the tech guide, and I can't wait to see you at the watch party for something brilliant, too! <laughs>